In this video, we'll look at how you can configure permissions using security groups in Skillsbase. Permissions in Skillsbase are controlled via security groups. A security group defines the privileges that a person is granted throughout the system. That is, the things that people can see and do. Anyone that can log into Skillsbase must be assigned a security group, and a person can only ever have one security group assigned to them at any one time. Skillsbase comes with three pre-configured security groups out of the box that address some common use cases, Administrator, Supervisor and General Staff. The Administrator security group has access to everything and can't be edited or deleted. However, the other two can be fully configured and you can also create and configure your own security groups. Let's create a new security group to assign to contractors working within the organisation. I'll start with a copy of General Staff as it's close to what I want. I don't want contractors to be able to view other people in the system, so I revoke the people view privilege. Note that people refers to other people. If I want to configure what a person can see of their own information, I can use the self section. I save the security group and now it's ready to be assigned to people. Before assigning it, it's a good idea to test it. Skillsbase provides the ability for administrators to temporarily assume any security group in the system so that you can view the system from that perspective. This eliminates the need to create separate accounts for testing permissions. Things appear as I expected, so I'm ready to assign it to contractors in my organisation. Security groups are assigned to people by editing a person's record. The fastest way to edit several records at once is via the bulk edit feature. I select the new contractor security group and the job is done. Skillsbase also provides a permissions audit report so that you can audit the privileges that a person's been granted. Here we can see that the contractor has no privileges for any team in the system. Lastly, Skillsbase provides the ability to select a default security group. This will be selected by default in drop down lists such as on the edit person page and will also be assigned to people that create their account via single sign on. In the next tutorial we'll look at how you can use the delegates feature to dynamically control security group permissions based on a person's assigned team. For more information on any skills-based topic, head to our support centre at support.skills-base.com.